What's cracking, Sports Card Universe? This is John with SeattleSportsCards.com. Follow me at Seattle Sports Card Consignments on IG and eBay. Today, we're coming at you with the November PSA reveal, 20 card uh, modern return. So let's jump right into it. First card. 97-98 Finals MVP, final bo Finals Boss, Carl Malone, 1986-87 Fleer, Near Mint 7, I'll take it, going to let this go, um, scale it to obtain my Jordan rookie card, but here you go, the mailman, Carl Malone, that'll be going on eBay. Next. Hey, who would ever thought in 2003 this was going to be a Lakers guard? LeBron James, the human victory cigar from Larry Brown, uh, Darko Milicic, and Carmelo Anthony. And the question needs to be answered. Why didn't the Pistons draft Carmelo Anthony? <laughs> Mint 9, I'll take it. I'm going to let this go as well. Might be a sneaky card if the Lakers can do something. Trio rookie. Next, another one from LeBron's rookie year. 2003 Ultra Round Ball Discs. Came back a mint nine. Uh, as I've stated in previous videos, I've had all these since 2003, so literally they're just giving me nines on everything. I don't know. Gonna let that go just because I don't like misshaped cards. Don't ask me why. Here's one I'll keep. LeBron James, rookie exclusive, 2003. Came back a mint nine. I'll keep that one. Vault it. Nice. I got a couple of these. Uh, the hardwood floor from 2003, Upper Deck Hardcourt. I was thinking about putting together the set, but I think I'm just going to let these go. There's a, I want to get the LeBron um, Autographics rookie card that's numbered. Kind of have my eye on that one. So I'm going to let some of these go. Still a nice card. I remember getting this when they came out. And... The other one's at eight as well. Hardcourt. PSA eight, near mint mint. Gonna let those go both go on eBay. Next. LeBron James second year autographics, and it came back a gym mint 10. So this is what irritates me. All these LeBron rookies I've sent in. Came back nines. And they're all from back then. Same as this. So then this is a 10. So why are they just giving me a 10 on the second year? But no 10s on the rookies. I swear. I swear. I'm happy I got a 10. But I need answers on those rookies. So yeah, I'll keep this just because of the grade. I'll figure out what I want to do with it. Happy I got a 10, though. LeBron James, second year, Bowman Chrome. Mint 9. Again, another one I feel like should have been a 10. Um, I'm thinking I might obtain the refractor of this. I actually was just watching one and um, so I'll either let this go or I'll obtain the a refractor in a nine because I have the Topps Chrome rookie refractor or not rookie refractor. I have the Topps Chrome second year refractor in a nine and the base. So if I get the refractor of this in a nine with the base, I'll hang on to it. Bowman Chrome second year. Not bad. I think this is an underrated card. Um, the LeBron James second year black diamond die cut 
with the man himself, Kobe. Cool card. Anytime you get, you know, Kobe and LeBron, two of the three best on one card, can't beat it. Cool card. And I was happy about this. Got the LeBron James 2003 Bazooka um, Road Red Jersey Gold. I know a lot of people like the uh, Bazooka Joe Bazooka. I actually like this one better. I'm not into the Bazooka Joe one. I think it's because we used to get the uh, Bazooka baseball cards back in the day in like 95. <laughs> like a dollar a pack. So... I'm sure these were cheap too, but pretty nice. This is a little thicker, so I'm glad it came back a nine. I think uh, I think the pop might. I haven't looked, but um, generally with the thicker cards, as everybody knows, it gets a little tougher. So you know, I'm probably most happy about this card. So I'll vault that one. Two thousand four SP Authentic Essentials. MJ Michael Jordan. Numbered to two thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Came back at eight. I have the LeBron in the submission too, so I graded both of them. Gonna let this go. Sell the LeBron and the Jordan at the same time. I think I have the Kobe too raw. Clyde the Glide. 92-93 finals, final boss. Clyde Drexler. For the younger folks out here, you know, you had the uh, Dwayne Wade. What Dwayne Wade was to Kobe, you know, kind of that one-two shooting guards. You know, that's really what Clyde Drexler was to Jordan. He was always the second best shooting guard in the league, in my opinion. Back then, Blazers legend Clyde Drexler got a ring with Houston. 94, 95. Can't bring myself to like the Blazers because it's Sonics all day, but I do like Drexler. Came back five. You know, I wasn't really sure what to expect on some of these uh, 86, 87 Fleers. The Barkley I had was probably in the nicest condition and it came back at eight. So I have, you know, a lot more coming back to me. So I'm not expecting crazy good grades on them. But going to let this go. Again, my plan is to uh, finally obtain my Jordan rookie um, by the end of this year. So, need cash. My guy. What's wrong, Scotty? My guy right here. 88-89 Fleer, Scotty Pippen rookie card. Came back a five. Um, if I remember correctly, this one had a dinged up corner. Pretty bad. I wasn't expecting anything with this, but just wanted to get it graded. I feel like any Scotty Pippen rookie card should be graded. Definitely one of the top players of all time. It's sad to see um, with his book that came out and just the negative stuff with Jordan. Seems like he might be going through some things personally, but man, those guys. I just, I've just i watched The Last Dance like four times all the way through. I just like to fall asleep with it on. I just love it. So, Jordan and Pimpin, you know, those guys, they were it. Five on the Pippin rookie car, going to let that go. All right. If anybody knows a better picture on a basketball card ever made, I defy you to say it's better than this card. I love this card. Slam dunk contest picture. Michael Jordan, 88 All-Star. Only came back a six. I don't care. if This is a card I'm always going to have in my collection. So I will scale the grade at some point and just keep obtaining a higher grades. So I actually want this in a nine because I have the base in a nine. If you watched my last video, I got a seven and a nine on the base. And this is kind of a continuation of that one because I, I got this back just a few weeks after the other one. 88 All-Star 6, I'll take it, I'll scale it. And this is actually a 
tough grade for a card. Um, the Jordan Fleer sticker 88 came back a five, you know, terrible grade. I've, I've had this since I was a little kid. Um, so the card is just super banged up, but I was looking at a nine the other day and they're expensive. So, um, again, I do want this in a nine, so I'll keep this for the time being until I can scale it into a nine. But again, this is a card I'm always going to have in my collection. I, you know, I always want certain Michael Jordans because that's my guy. It's the number one person I like to buy cards of. Another LeBron rookie, uh, Air Academy, nine. Again, why it's not a 10, who knows? I mean, it's right out of the pack. It's perfect condition, but it's the year 2021. So PSA had a huddle and they said, hey, don't give this guy's um, mountain of LeBron rookie cards he sent in packed fresh any 10s. We'll give him an autographic second year 10. <laughs> Just joking. But again, LeBron rookie year, Air Academy. Nice card. I'll probably hang on to this one. I got the upper deck star rookie in a nine as well. So if I move them, I'll probably move them together. I've never wanted to crack a card out of a case in my life until I got this back. Because this is actually a card I wanted to keep, but it came back a five. But I don't want to keep it as a five. Um, so I'll probably get rid of it. I think it's kind of corny to pay for a card to get graded and crack it open. You're just doing too much, in my opinion. Um, I mean, once you put money into it, just keep it moving. So I had plans. This was actually going to be my favorite card out of the submission. Um, and I wanted to get the Jordan same one. But now I think I'm going to dump this and uh, try to get a... I think I'm going to try to get a second year LeBron and um, MJ dual jersey. Probably from SB Authentic or SB Game Used. So the grade actually was disappointing on these. A lot of these cards are just like my personal collection of raw cards I had that um, I just kind of wanted to have as a starting point. So this is kind of the first card I got back where I was just uh, disappointed with a grade. Because like I've said in previous videos, you know, I'm more of a buy the card, not the grade kind of guy. And then I can scale. But I don't feel like scaling this card, so I'm going to let it go, even though I wanted this card. So, the grade was disappointing. Here's the LeBron James um, 04 SP Authentic Essentials. Came back at 8 out of 2,999. I'm going to let that go with the Jordan. Um, and like I said, I have, I have the Kobe too. I know I do. So maybe I'll put a lot with all three of them up on eBay. We'll see. Um... Yeah, but this was a card I just wanted to grade. I wasn't going to do anything particular with it. LeBron James 0405 Hardcourt Materials. Um, this is a card I'm just going to sell. I want to say it's like his warm up. One player material. Yeah, warm up card from Upper Deck. So, not even probably, you know, I didn't pay a lot to get these graded. I think it was back when it was 20 bucks, but. Um, I didn't put a lot of thought into what I was grading. I was just grabbing stacks and LeBrons and Jordans and sending them off. But yeah, I'll let this go. I don't need a warm up material card. Came back at eight. Not bad though. And then this, um, this was like a subset within SP game used and this one was gold and it was numbered out of 50. Uh, any early LeBron sets, there's a lot of them. Someone's going to be trying to put this together, so I'll get rid of this. Happy it came back a nine. Uh, I'll scale that in some. Like I said, maybe I'll shoot for that uh, LeBron and MJ dual jersey card for the second year if I'm going to get rid of a lot of these uh, first and second year LeBrons. I want to have something nice come back to me. So there's that. Um, yeah. Also, a nice, pleasant surprise was right around the same time, I got some reholders back, and my Jordan second year came back. So I got my Jordan second year in an eight um, with a nice new holder. So happy about that. I'm going to vault that. Card I'll always keep, obviously. So I wanted to show you guys that because it came back literally like the next day. 
So there we go. So look, I want to remind everybody to practice positive self-talk and protect your peace of mind with every decision you make. Until next video, streetlights just came on. I am gone.